Hello, my name is Jana. I'm a librarian at Snow Isle Libraries. Today, I'm giving you an introduction to Libby and Overdrive. Let's get started. In order to find Libby and Overdrive, we're first going to want to begin at the Snow Isle homepage. That's www.snow-isle.org. From there, You'll click on the online library link in the orange brownish ribbon and then click ebooks and digital media. This is what the ebooks and digital media page will look like. It has links to a whole bunch of resources Libby, which has ebooks and audiobooks, Overdrive, which also has ebooks and audiobooks, Hoopla for comics, TV shows, and movies, Bookflix for interactive kids' ebooks some books read by Snow Isle staff, Canopy for movies, TV shows, and documentaries, and RB Digital for magazines. In this video, we'll be focusing on Libby and Overdrive. Here's how to specifically find Libby and Overdrive. From the Snow Isle homepage, snow-isle.org, you'll click Online Library on the orangish brownish ribbon, then click eBooks and Digital Media, then scroll down to the Overdrive or Libby icon of your choice and click it. Alternatively, you can type in the web address for the version that you want and bookmark it to keep it handy. Both Libby and Overdrive are also available as apps for iPhone and Android. Now, what's the difference between Libby and Overdrive? Well, Libby is a lot more streamlined and user-friendly. You just choose your library, enter your card number and PIN, which is usually the last four digits of your phone number, and you're ready to use it. Don't worry about choosing what format to read your ebooks in, PDFs or EPUBs or whatnot. Libby is a one-stop shop for browsing, borrowing, reading, and listening with full customization abilities. You do have the option to send your stuff to a Kindle device if you want to, though. With Overdrive, it offers the different kids teens, and full overdrive sections if you want to browse by age group. It also allows you to pick what format you want to download your book in. For example, if you want to read it in the app, in a browser, or in the Kindle app. Here is what Overdrive versus Libby looks like on mobile devices. On the left-hand side, we have Overdrive looking at an audiobook. On the right side, we have two screens showing the same audiobook on Libby. It's the same tools, just presented in a slightly different way. So do you have to be connected to the internet to read your books? Here's the thing, with Libby and Overdrive, you only need to be connected to the internet to browse the catalog and borrow your books. Once your book finishes downloading, which is pretty fast, depending on how fast your internet is, it's saved to your phone or tablet for as long as you have it borrowed, one, two, or three weeks no streaming required unless you're on a computer and reading it in a browser. So you can take it on a plane, you can go somewhere with no cell service, go on a road trip, sit at home and not use your Wi-Fi or anything like that. You won't use any data when you're reading your book, only when you're downloading and browsing. So once you're in Overdrive and Libby, how do you find your books? You have a couple different options. First, you can browse the lists. We have a variety of different pre-made lists based off of different subjects, or you can do a search. There's basic searches for title, author, or series, or advanced searches for things like subject, availability, whether there's a copy available to borrow right now, what date it was added, what format it's in, if it's won any awards, what language it comes in, if you know the ISBN number of the book, what interest level Lexile range it's in, and more. So how do you know if a book is in stock right now? On the left, we have Brown Girl Dreaming. This one has an orange ribbon across the top that says available. This means there is one or more copies available to check out right now. In the bottom corner, you see the word borrow. That means that you can borrow it right away. Right above the borrow, there's the word audiobook with a pair of headphones. That means that this book is an audiobook. In the middle, we have the book Eleanor and Park. This one is an ebook, as you can see by the picture of a little tiny book and the word ebook right next to it. It says place a hold on the bottom, and we can guess that there aren't any copies in stock. On the top, it says waitlist. That means that all of our copies are currently checked out. 
On the right book, the Black Flamingo, it says coming soon across the top. That means we've bought it, but it hasn't come out just yet. And so it'll soon be available to borrow, but you'll have to wait a little while. And in that case, you can also place a hold on that book. This one is an ebook as well. This is what the full version of OverDrive looks like in a browser. Using the search button, you can search for books, authors, or series, or you can open the link to the advanced search function. Under the My Account link, you can access your loans and your holds. Here's what the OverDrive Kids look page looks like. The search function and My Account function are the same, and we have a ton of fun lists to look through here. This is the OverDrive Teens page. Did you know that we also have a bunch of comics and graphic novels? Finally, this is the Libby page. On the top right, you can add your library card information. On the left, under preferences, you can filter by format, whether you want to see ebooks or audiobooks, what language of materials you want to see, what age group, or whether something is available right now. On the bottom right, you can see what things you have checked out or on hold by clicking on the shelf link. One cool tool is the filtering option. This allows you to narrow down your results. Here we searched for Harry Potter. We got 154 results when we searched for just the terms Harry Potter. Let's see what happens next. By using the filtering tools Availability, Available Now, Format, Overdrive Read, and Subject, Juvenile Fiction, we now have 23 results. We could get it down even further if we wanted to narrow it down by language. This allows us to find things more easily that we want to read. Okay, you've checked out a book. Now, how do you customize it? We have a bunch of different ways to help you. The first one is the zoom tool, and this one's for graphic novels only. It allows you to zoom into the pictures to see them better. The next one is the circle with the lines inside, and this allows you to toggle a one or two page view, whether you wanna see one page at a time or two pages at a time. The next one is the magnifying glass, and that's the search function. In books that are, that are text only, it allows you to search for specific words and phrases. And then the three lines on top of each other allow us to change the text options. It lets you change the font. It lets you change the lighting, whether you want it to be black text on a white background or white text on a black background. It lets you change the font the text to make it bigger or smaller, or if you want the lines to be closer together or farther apart. There are all sorts of different ways to customize it to make your reading experience more comfortable. There are also ways to customize your audiobooks. With the speedometer function, you can change the narrator speed. Are they going a little bit too fast or too slow for you? Speed them up or slow them down. The moon icon is a shutoff timer. If you are getting ready for bed and you want to listen to the narrator as you fall asleep, you can hit that moon and it'll shut off after 30 minutes of reading. Or if you just want to read for 30 minutes, hit the moon and it'll stop after 30 minutes and you'll be done. The little bookmark tab is the bookmark icon where you can take notes as you're listening to the book. And then the three lines are the menu where you can access chapters and your bookmark. I hope this has been helpful enough to get you started. If you need help, visit askus.snow-isle.org for live chat, links to library phone numbers, our email link, and our FAQ. You can also text 360-810-5188 to get a response from a library staff. You can also visit your local Snow Isle library when you are able. Check snow-isle.org slash locations for hours. Thank you and happy reading.